Welcome to Stupid Science. Stupid Science. This is a show where Jamie and I will answer all of your science questions that you never dared or wanted to ask. You ready, Jamie? Yeah, this, this could be fun. Oh, no, it will not be. It's gonna be torture. Okay, Jamie, this is the shark bath bomb. You drop this bad boy in your bath and it turns your bath a bloody red. Now, my hippopotamus is that if we drop this into a bowl of blood, it will dissolve faster than water. So we'll drop one of the sharks in this boring regular water, and then we'll drop one in this really cool bowl of blood water. So you think it's gonna <laughs> dissolve faster in blood than yeah. in water? Yeah. Okay. Because dan it, dan it, dan it, blood is more awesome than that water, dan it, dan it. You've set up actually a pretty good experiment. Thank here. you. One, two, three, attack. Oh, yours is going. Yeah, well you can really see mine because it's not blunt. Oh, mine's starting to go. But yeah, it's actually. soaking it up. Look at the rate at which this is bubbling versus that. Okay, I want to change mine. Mine is it's scarier. The bubbles are horrifying. <laughs> I think yours is dissolving better. Blood is about 50% water, so that's why it's dissolving like half as well. Boring old water wins again. Jamie, this is the US of A ice tray. Basically, it's just a map of the United States with ice. And you know how good I am at putting things in my mouth. So I think if I take these little pieces out, I will be able to correctly identify every single state on this map. All right, close your eyes. So everyone at home can see, this is what I'm picking. You ready? I'm perfectly square. How many guesses do I get? One. Nebraska. Ooh, close. Oh. North Dakota. North Dakota. We're going with this one. Oh. Eric, Eric. Mm. I'm gonna go can... Nevada. What? I get it? Yes. Ah. That's correct. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do this one. Uh, Open up real wide, big dog. <laughs> I got the panhandle here. That's Texas. That is Texas. You gotta get this one. Whoa! Is that Idaho? Yes, it is! Yeah! I did better than I thought I would! I'm not surprised you did as well as you did, because the tongue can actually outperform the fingers in some tactile activities. So if I don't recognize you, I lick your face and I know who you are. Eric? I didn't see me there. Why are you dressed like a ninja, Eric? Because this is a fart ninja, Jamie. My biggest arch nemesis. I think that if I'm dressed like a ninja, stealthily, that I can sneak up on these without them farting. I guess try to sneak in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> see if you go real fast. Yeah! <laughs> Didn't work, Jamie. Would you like me to explain why? Science can't explain away this one, Jamie. There's a little sensor in their head. When you walked in front, you're like a big shadow blocking this light over right. there. I think we dress you in white. Yeah. I think you can kind of fake them but out. But what date is it? Can I wear white after Easter? If we use a white sheet, it'll still keep like the same amount of light going into the sensor. Now go slow. I beat you! I told you to! That's pretty cool, Jamie. You invented invisibility cloak. It's not about invisibility. We just theorized how the sensors worked and ran an experiment based on our hypothesis, which we confirmed. We did science, Eric. Yuck! Get it out of my mouth! Blech. Blech, 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 blech. This next experiment was sponsored by Break It To Make It. I noticed in that game, when we tried to break these sphere ice molds, it was kind of difficult. So my hydroponic is, if we heat up our tool to break this, it'll be a lot easier. That actually makes some sense. Now I'm gonna heat my hammer up with hot sauce. And there's the stupid. Well, you gotta break one first without the hot sauce as like a control. That was, I'd estimate, 25 hits. Oh. Put the hot sauce on your hammer to cool. heat it up now. Getting it nice and hot. You know that sensation of heat isn't that your tongue is actually heating up. It's just a chemical. Okay, stop talking, here I go. What? 
hit. Wow! Oh my gosh, two hits. The other ones are 25 right in half. Wow, gang. Eric, I think you got lucky with your hot sauce hammer. I've got something really cool to show you. This is a regular ice ball. I made another one. This is what's known as picrete. The theory is if we add like paper pulp to ice, it becomes super strong. Go ahead and bash that one. Lucky strike. Ah! Now hit this one. Lucky strike. Oh, lucky strike. Oh, ah! Did you even break on the ground? No. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, shit, my eye. <laughs> you wanna put hot sauce on this one? Yeah, let's get the secret ingredient out. Stand back, Jamie. This is probably about a thousand degrees. Go! Oh! oh, God. I've been defeated. Picrete. Yum. All right, Jamie, this is the beverage life vest. A lot of people think it's just a cute little koozie for your can or your bottle, but I wanna know if it can really save my life because I can't swim real good. What's the experiment? I can't fit into this thing, believe it or not, but my friend can. It's morphing time! Okay, to be scientific, we gotta test him without the life vest on. I'm gonna see if it floats. Oh, straight to the bottom. Okay, that's a sink. <laughs> Put him in his little guy. Strap him in. Now do the same thing. Whee! Dive in. Oh! Oh, he's face down. He is drowning, yeah. technically. But still, floating. It does float. I've got something else that I want to show you about buoyancy that's really interesting. Oh boy, here we you go. Ready? With jibber jabber with Jamie. There's actually a way to make your Power Ranger float without using the life vest. It's morphin time! I've got water here, salt water. That will create uh, buoyancy. This should float. Oh, look at that, he's breathing. Watch, I'm gonna push him down, and he's gonna pop right back up. He lives. This is basically like what the Dead Sea is. Super salty and people can float in it. But my guy stays alive in the Dead Sea. They named it the wrong thing, the Alive Sea. I hope you learned something here, Eric. Never! Okay, now this, Jamie, is staying the world's most sour soda. I hypnotize that because it is blue, and also blue like Windex, that it will clean just as well. Chemistry isn't just about colors. But it can be. No, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Windex is working great, as you would expect. Dang, is not bad. Cutting that grease. I think the Windex is, is clearer. But it still did a, a decent job here. What we've learned here is that you can't replace your Windex with Stang, but Stang kind of works. Interesting fact, citric acid, which is like the main ingredient in Stang, is actually used in a lot of household cleaners. Check out this little experiment I did with a rusty nail, citric acid, and some water. <laughs> Well, good job, everybody. It stings all around. Oh, it's in my eyes. Oh, it's in my eyes. Oh, oh whoops. Now it's stupid science. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jamie, my next PhD submission is that if we go and golf with sand versus regular sand, that hitting it out of a golf trap will be way easier because of all the kinetic in it. I feel like you don't know what the word kinetic means. No, I don't golf. Okay, Jamie, we're in the great science area. I'm gonna put one in the sand. Put one in this regular sand. I'm gonna hit the regular sand first. Call your shot. Ooh, nice shot. You want me to make a tea out of sand? Let me go a cup. Nice Whoa! swing! Whoa! That wasn't really science. Let's go back inside and do some actual science. Boo! Boo! So I've got some wet beach sand here. We're gonna make one with sheets of paper. So I put a little layer of sand in and then a piece of paper Whoa, with some paper in the it. Post-it notes. So I'm gonna put two and a half pounds on this guy. Let's put two mm -hmm. and a half pounds on this guy. Mm -hmm. Another two and a half pounds. Uh -huh. Another two, okay. All right, we got five more pounds here. Uh Oh boy. Oh, okay. he skipped leg day. All right, there's another five pound one. See, it hasn't squished down see that. nearly as much. Science! Science! All right, Eric, so we've used a lot of these chemicals so far today, and I've got an experiment in mind that's all science, no stupid. I'm just gonna need a couple- No, show's over, goodbye! Bat19.com